Fisheries and Oceans Canada is speaking up following a dramatic dolphin rescue on the south side of Trinity Bay. A rescue effort saved some dolphins trapped in the ice earlier this month, but now the agency is stressing safety when you're near wild animals. Host of CBC Radio's The Broadcast, Paula Gale, met up with Jack Lawson to chat about some of the do's and don'ts. This would be normal for our time of year. We should have a lot of sea ice from the coastline out to hundreds of miles. Uh, often if it's been cold, it'll be frozen together and that's where a lot of animals come to breed like harp seals and hooded seals and so on. But it can be risky if it moves around and that's what we've seen in the last few weeks. So what can you tell us about the number of marine mammals that have died this winter due to the ice conditions? Well, we only know those that are reported, of course. It's a huge coastline, but so far it's probably in excess of 70 to 75 white-beaked dolphins this year so far. If I saw a dead seal here, what I call DFO, like really, what, what would you do if you did see a dead seal on a beach? For us, I mean, this is, we see probably get reports of hundreds of dead seals this time of year, and so it's part of nature. You know, these animals are, have died naturally in most cases. Uh, from falling and drowning or getting crushed in the ice and so you just let them be. It's part of the natural system and there'll be food for consumers like seagulls and so on. But they do carry some bacteria and other things that you don't want to have brought it back into your household. So we know they carry things like brucellosis, some herpes virus that are found on seals, um, possible evidence of avian influenza in different parts of the world being transmitted to seals. So it's something that you just don't want to mix with as yourself, as a human or your pets. So we ask that people keep their dogs away, particularly if they've got dogs, keep them on a leash if they're around, live or dead marine mammals on the shore. If I saw injured or dead dolphins somewhere in Newfoundland and Labrador, either in the water or on a beach, what should I do? The same sort of thing, you know, call, contact your local fisheries office if it's a dead dolphin because it's of interest to us in terms of knowing what's happening out there, but also I'm occasionally able to collect samples from it. So it gives me things like the age of the animal, what it might have died of. Maybe it was ice, maybe it was entrapped in gear. If it's a live animal, so it's injured or is entrapped in the case of these uh, white beaks that we've seen here, we really want to know quickly because there's a chance for us to rescue those animals if it's appropriate. And so again, contact your local fisheries office or contact Tangly Whales, who's our contractor for doing these type of rescues. We've had quite a few whales uh, succumb to injuries due to changing sea ice conditions. Is that a concern this year so far? Luckily, we haven't seen anything larger caught in the ice, so you, you might recall back in 2014 we had more than nine blue whales, which are extremely endangered and trapped and killed in ice off the southwest coast. And so when ice is moving around like this, I'm always worried about that happening. So far this year, no reports of larger animals, but we do occasionally get humpbacks, um, pilot whales and things that will get make the same mistakes as the white beaks are, get into a bay, the ice traps them in and they perish. Is there anything that can be done to, 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 to scare them away from some areas if you know that they may become trapped? Yeah, it's a difficult choice. I mean, there's so many areas in the coastline that could be an entrapment area for these types of animals. So people have asked us before, why don't you put clangers or, or sound uh, you know, warnings in the water so it keeps animals away. But of course, biologically, there's a reason why the animals are here. They're coming in the spring, they may be starting their feeding, they're, they're taking the risk to be in this area for something. And so do we then try and scare them away from an area that they're obviously trying to be in? And there's not even a lot of evidence that it works for a long period of time. So animals that are really intent on feeding will often ignore alarms. So there's really no easy way to prevent something like this that happens as part of a natural process. So for us, it's more concerning that the global ice conditions are worsening, as everybody knows, perhaps because of climate change. And so going forward in the future, these type of entrapments may become more common. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering what that will mean for us in the future with higher winds and, and worse ice.